day 19 today of the 64 million artists January challenge and today it's word art think of a word and make something creative around it it says make something beautiful but today what I'm going to do is make something that's not beautiful I'm going to make a gargoyle uh, that's a good word isn't it gargoyle there's lots of words I like gargoyle gusset all this sort of really sort of sounding words aren't they anyway today we're going to try and do a gargoyle for you using collage so let's have a look at some of the materials we're using today very simple today I've got three sheets of paper some packaging paper and two bits of sugar paper Mod Podge glue an ink stick for doing some ink work and some ink so let's crack on this should be quite easy quite simple um, I'm not going to use uh, a drawing but I am have got a reference so I think what I'm going to do first of all is fold my bit of paper in a half because uh, they are quite symmetrical um, I'm going to make the wings first of all um, this is going to go bit like that in the background um, so like that and it's still on a plinth as well so just tearing out bit of shape it needs a, a kind of a plinth to sit on I'm just going to create that so that will be the wings that's the plinth so there's kind of three levels to this I'm using the paper to build up uh, foreshortening and, and distance and making the thing look a bit more 3d so next part will be the body of the garg it's kind of half the piece of paper a little bit I might fold it in whole but it should be symmetrical next then I'll put it out the back and that comes there the back leg across there and then we've got a hand there really that'll do you can work with that and then finally I kind of want the head so we're going to use this piece of paper up to make the head Symmetrical, so let's fold it in half. It's got a demon, a demon shape now, so I'm going to go around there like that and create some 
horns. It's difficult to tear paper when it's folded, so let's come this way. There we go, there's a horn there. And then I'm going to come in like that and then out for the muzzle of this thing. And again, fold it out. Sit in there beautifully. I bring it down a little bit like that. And I think that's the basic bits of our demon. Just time to just got to glue it down now. So I've created from paper some torn shapes, I've glued them down. Now we need to make it look like the demon and I'm going to do that by using some ink uh, to create the texture of the stone. And I think ink will work really well here, especially on this paper, because I think the ink will bleed around a bit as well uh, and make it feel like it's a real rocky, crevicey kind of statuesque thing. So let's see how we get on with that. Let's put the the wing in. And the wing in this side. And then bring that in to the bottom of the figure. And then we're gonna, because it's a, a kind of a folded wing, we're gonna give it some folds following the direction of the the wing itself there's that lovely bleed there there we go and we've got a, the back of the beast now we're gonna put that in um, I'm gonna make the ear or the horn a bit more prominent there we go. Bring that beast round into there. There's some really muscular bits to this. Bring the other one round into here. And round again. See, I'm not worried about the edge of the paper showing through. I'm not following the paper at all, really. We've got some kind of a business like that going on there. And then we're going to put the hands down here. So let's put some talons in. the hind legs which can sit there like that and then finally the face which has uh, some massive eyebrows I'm going to put there like that. Some nostrils coming out there and there.
just come in round there. There we go, some black in there. Black in there. And put some tone into this. See this is this is the stick really giving me what I want now, some tone, some stony tones. I think we call it a day there, a gargoyle. Word of the day uh, and my piece of word art for day 19 of the 64 million artists uh, January challenge. See you tomorrow.